Know your marine stuff. Friends, we will discuss line diagram of boiler and exhaust gas economizer feed water system. This will help you to clear some of your symbols and concepts. The link for original PDF file will be available in description box. Hello friends. Today, for understanding the piping diagram, we will take a line diagram for auxiliary boiler and exhaust gas economizer feed water system. So, in this video, we will discuss some of the symbols and markings that are present in line diagram. That will be help you to clear your concepts. Okay. At first, we start with cascade tank. Now, here you can see the cascade tank is given cascade tank capacity is 3500 liters now here you can see fs fs means float switch and this circle and line in between indicates uh, it indicates control room mounted level alarm so it becomes float switch with control room mounted level alarm cr is given for control room one is given below this line it means it's a tag number so after that if we go down we can see one marking is there only for c trials this is now they use only for c trials flow meter is there they want to calculate how much uh, flow is uh, there during the working of the boiler but now at present we have to omit this one here flow meter is there glow bulb is there 25 g now one thing is this g means uh, from the symbols given before this drawing g pipes must be sgp sgp is used for carbon steel pipes so wherever you saw g uh, with the piping uh, symbol it means SGP pipes, carbon steel pipes are used. So, the line uh, from the cascade tank, it goes to the sluice valve. This is the symbol of sluice valve. Uh, so, in the remarks, it is given that flow valve 1 to flow valve 9, so that is VF1 to VF9, all the valves are present with position indicators that is open or closed position so this remark is given i will show you here you can see in the corner mm. okay this remark is given flow valve with indicator open close vf1 to vf9 so we use this one <coughs> so this loose valve has a open and close indication now, what is sluice valve? Sluice valve is a valve which opens while lifting a round or rectangular gate slash wedge out of path of fluid. Uh, sluice valve has the ability to cut through the liquids. So now this line is coming down and it goes to the suction of auxiliary feed water pumps. Its capacity is given 18 cubic meter per hour into 11 bar pressure. There are two pumps are given. So both the pumps, uh, we can see there. Uh, we can see that the suction side we have a sluice valve. After that, Y type strainer, and you can see this marking. Uh, this star is present on these uh, symbols. This means the, these things have to be supplied by maker. The maker of this pump has to supply this Y strainer, the sluice valves, etc. It is not supplied from the yard. So, Y type strainer is given. Now, one thing is written, you can see 10K50. This symbol is used for flanges, which can withstand pressure of 10 bar. Uh, 10K means 10 kg per centimeter square, and 50 is flange size. It is not the diameter of flange, flange size is different. 
there is a chart in which you can find the various specification of the flange now the section side we have a compound indicator ci is the compound indicator symbol this is number one feed water pump and on the discharge side we have pressure indicator and on the discharge side we have a check angle valve it is like a non-return valve which does not allow uh, the fluid to go from one direction to other similarly other pump the same symbols are there both the discharge lines are connected and they are going through globe check valve globe check valves are present and then globe valves are present means two valves are there check valves you know it's a safety it's like a non-return valve and other valve is there globe valve now this is going into the boiler this is the auxiliary boiler you can see these are the gauge glasses one and two uh, this symbol means boiler mounted globe valve you can see the uh, gauge glasses valves which are mounted on the boiler now here you can see uh, this uh, gauge glasses has a uh, gauge glass blow through line which uh, which is used to blow through the gauge glasses periodically and during surveys so these are falling into a drip tray so both the gauge glasses these uh, lines are falling into the drip tray now you can see uh, we have top blow down globe valve so this valve uh, top blow down um, globe valve and bottom blow down valve they are both connected you can see these both lines are connecting and it's going to overboard and here you can see the symbol of globe check valve it's again non return valve then we have a globe valve and then we have overboard now again from the remarks we can see vf v2 and vf v3 flow valve 2 and 3 are provided with position indicators here you can see this remark is there in the downside with uh, indicator open and close uh, vf1 to vf9 okay now and the other thing is uh, all the drip trays they are going to bottom bilges on the top side we can see the safety valves are provided one two three and four these safety valves when lifted they are connected to the funnel all the exhaust stream goes to the funnel and uh, the condensate or the leakage if any is present it will go to drip tray and goes back to engine room bilges for bent you, you can see two-way cork is present this is a symbol of two-way cork and uh, vent is present on the boiler the other line with two-way cork going to pressure indicator pressure transmitter pt and pressure switch ps now from the auxiliary boiler uh, we can see now uh, we have to circulate the water from the auxiliary boiler to the exhaust gas economizer the suction line uh, is this one it's insulated lines and these are going to uh, circulating pump one and two here you can see number two circulating pump here you can see number one circulating pump so in the suction line you can see we have a globe ball we have a white stainer and uh, on the suction side we have a compound indicator and uh, on the discharge side we have pressure indicator now we have a cool we have a cooler to cool these circulating pumps so one line is going from the discharge side to the uh, cooler and other is coming uh, to the uh, circulating pump means this cooler is cooling the uh, circulating pumps so these two lines are there so you can see one uh, in the both pumps we have globe check valves means the outlet from the pump is going through uh, to the cooler through globe check valves so now you can see on the su suction side we have temperature indicator 
this is where we can see the cooling is effective or not both these pumps uh, through this angle uh, check valves providing discharge to the uh, exhaust gas economizer on the economizer we have uh, two uh, valves from the steam line these are for suit blower uh, for the exhaust gas economizer and the specification of exhaust gas economizer is given 800 kg per hour 0.9 MPA means 9 bar so on the discharge side of this exhaust gas economizer you can see two way coke there are two two way cocks are present one is for vent and other is for pressure indicator from the same line one safety valve is provided which is again going to the funnel deck and the, the return line for this is going back to the boiler the steam means the steam which is produced is going back to the boiler drum boiler steam drum so these are the thing which are present in this uh, drawing i hope uh, some of the symbols will be clear to you if you have any doubts please uh, write in the comment section and uh, thanks please like and subscribe our channel yeah.